Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Harbinger, and I got a long-awaited reaction for y'all. Hell of a Boss, Season 2, Episode 3, titled X's and O's by Vivzy Pop. Now, I just want to preface this by saying this, though. I see the thumbnail. If they decide to end Moxie and Billy's relationship, I'm going to feel some type of way. I'm not going to lie to you. Because I love their relationship. I really do. Their relationship... Honestly, if you really wanted to talk about like relationship goals and everything, it'd probably be some more similar to Moxie and Millie. I don't know why the hell people say the Joker and Harley. That that is toxic and terrible. But Moxie and Millie, I love their relationship. I don't know what the heck they're gonna do with it. It looks like they're gonna be going through some stuff. We're just gonna go on and start it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Check out the links to the GoFundMe in the description down below to take you to my manga's GoFundMe where. I have a little bit of a detail. I have a little bit of an explanation of what I plan on doing with this manga. But the GoFundMe is going to be for putting out more manga pages so I can get the first chapter out as fast as possible. And it's also going to be for uh, promotional things like little small videos or uh, more promotional pages or more uh, character sheets and stuff like that. Just so you guys know more about the characters, the manga, the world, etc. But we're going to go on and start this. We're going to start this in three, two. One, go. You know, I checked the scale today, and it said I lost two pounds this week. I am not fat! The animation changed a little bit? What the hell is going on, Millie? Millie, honey, everything okay? <laughs> yeah, just bumped into an ex. Oh, oh. He just kept going on about how he has money now and a bright future and a bigger cock. Wait, what? Every time I see his stupid face, I can't help it. I just need to. What the fuck is all this noise? I got a client. Sorry, sir. I'll get this all clean. What is this? Uh, research for science. <laughs> Just put it back correctly, okay? I alphabetized them. Okay, so let me get this straight. You don't want us going to Earth at all for this job. Correct. That will not be necessary. I'd like to meet you and your whole crew at my estate. Uh, you want us killing someone in hell? Because I got to tell you, that ain't exactly our business no more. I'll tell you all about it when you're here. It's in regards to a business venture I'm sure will be very worth your time. Ooh, how ominous. <laughs> Fine, whatever. What's the address? Transportation has already been taken care of. What the fuck is that? Satan's ass crack! Enough with the wall shit! We have a door! <laughs> My research! <laughs> <laughs> I am paid! Right this way, please! Uh, sir, what's going on? Now, don't worry, it's just some fancy schmuck from Greed wanting to do business with us. Uh, sir, I don't think this is a good idea. It'll be fine. Now get your asses moving. It's like the underground of the city. Why? What did he do? Ugh, I hate this place. Oh yeah, this is your old stomping ground, isn't it, Mox? Yeah, unfortunately. I grew up just over there. Swore I'd never come back and uh uh what what where where are we going? What blitz? Who did you say this meeting was with? I'm not sure. Just some rich somebody or other who wants to discuss biz at his place. Boy, get 
This is his dad? Daddy a hug. Daddy? I only let Moxie call me that. Unless you pay me. <laughs> Guys, um, <clears throat> this is my father, Crimson. Sir, this is my boss, Blitz. And my... Really? I'm his wife. And what a beautiful wife you are. Mox, why well, you been hiding this pretty little thing? Oh, I'm sure he would have introduced us eventually. Oh, I'm sure. You gotta be Blitz with the silent O, right? I've heard a lot of good things about you and your work. Really? What kind of shit has Moxie been spreading about me? I'll fucking kill you, Moxie! Don't you fucking test me! No, no! From all over. Looks like you're building a bit of a name for yourself here, kid. Really? Huh. Well, I guess it's about time folks recognize my talent. <laughs> I like your attitude. Well, I hope you're all hungry. We put together a fabulous dinner for you. Hey, baby. Why haven't I met your pa before? Well, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just never been a... Hey, you two. Move it before it gets cold. Look, look, Millie, we can talk about it later. Bro, <laughs> shady <laughs> ass You always been a hitman? Oh, no, not always. Yeah, I was in the circus for a long time. Show business. Good money in that. What are we doing here? Sir? Moxie, I raised you better than that. You know there's no business before dinner. Besides, we're still waiting on one more. <laughs> what is up, party people? Chance? Wait! What? what? You know him? Uh, you remember that ex I was talking about? Looks like I have two big sex <laughs> reunions today. How lucky am I? Did you date him too? <laughs> yeah. No big deal, but I've usually boned half the people in any room I'm Are in. Are you fucking kidding me? There's someone who's fucked both of you? It was a long time ago. But I still remember it like it was yesterday. You, a fledgling mafioso. Me, the dashing and extremely sexy muscle. It was like it was written in the stars. Ha! Moxie in the mafia, that's fucking rich. Shit. You've never told me this before. I, I don't really like to talk about this part of my life, but I first saw Chaz at my induction into the family. Our eyes met from across Why the, the hell room, is he talking like that? Something about him. Something that was magnetic. <laughs> is he the reason why Moxie got good with guns? Hey yo. Hey yo. It's been 84 years. Isn't that from that boat movie? Did any of that stuff actually happen? Oh yeah. <laughs> but he skipped over the jizz covered parts. Anyway, things changed when we went on a heist together. Damn, left his ass. So, what are you in for? Okay, not much of a talker, are we? He uh, met I'm Blitz in jail? He is silent. Now, I'm sure we're gonna get along just fine. So what's your deal? What'd you do? Who'd you diddle? You look like someone who's good with a gun. You look like someone who'd shoot up an office, and I hope you are. So I got a plan to get us out of this dump, but I'm gonna need some help. You think you can give me a hand? I need to get out to my daughter. The babysitter will kill me if I don't get back soon. You like this? Once I got out, I never looked back. Well, like you said, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Bitch. Hey, 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 
That made Millie hate him even more. Dinner is served. So, this is aggressively uncomfortable. I suppose you want to know why you're here. Yeah, so what gives? I mean, you know we kill people on Earth, right? We don't normally do contracts for locals, so... If you want to do business with us, you gotta... I don't want to do business with IMP. I want to do business with Moxie. Me? Yeah, kid. I summoned IMP to be sure you'd show. Because, well, we're bringing Chaz into the family. What? Since when can just anyone join the family? Come on, Mox. You had responsibilities here that I had to pick up once you left. Now Chaz is going to lighten the load. Wait, I thought you always hated his guts. Well, I don't know if I exactly hated him. You called him a friendless horse fucker and said we lived a sissy lifestyle. Yeah, well, I was wrong. You've been gone a long time, Mox. A man can change. And so is Chaz. Yeah, I've grown, matured, and recently came into millions. But, you know, mostly the mature thing. Oh, okay, okay. So the horseless friend fucker over here gets a little moolah, and suddenly it's worth wasting our time over? Well, I'm the whole package, if you know what I mean. I got a big dick. <laughs> what does any of this have to do with Moxie? There's going to be a ceremony tomorrow. Moxie here is going to officially release his holdings in the organization. Then you can get back to ignoring your family to your heart's content. Maybe he wouldn't ignore his family if they didn't force him to rub elbows with a no good shark tooth fuck face. Yay, look, everybody, relax. I know tensions are high. <laughs> Millie is going to kill this dude. Why don't you stay here and get some rest? We'll have the ceremony tomorrow, and then you will be free to leave. I have your rooms all prepared. Yes, sir. Mom? A moment, Moxie. Just give me a minute, Millie. I'll be there. <laughs> so, you think you're too good for this family now? What? Come here. I... I don't understand. <laughs> you think you're gonna just get to walk away from this family and never come back? You're dead wrong, Mox! Matter of fact, the only thing you're right about is that that obnoxious piss stain can't get made. Not unless he marries in. M marries? But, but who would he? Who do you think? This family needs that money. And it's about time your pathetic ass was useful for something. Sir, I'm already married. I, I can't... You think I give a shit about your stupid beard? Come on, Mox. I even went through the trouble of making the house more to your kind's liking. Oh, so he's a dickhead. Wait, what? What do you think I'm into? <laughs> what? This is the kind of shit gays like, right? Okay, first off, Dad, I'm bisexual. Yeah, gay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Secondly, I don't know a single person of any sexuality who'd enjoy this. Ah, there's sticks in the wall. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Look at me, kid. One way or another, you're gonna do what I fucking say. Don't cross me. Man, what happened to this dude's mom? <sighs> Dickhead dad.
Let this be a lesson, Moxie. This is what happens when you cross me. Ain't no now way bed, in hell. You have a big day tomorrow. <sighs> yes, sir. Oh, and Mox, if you ever talk back to me again, you and that pretty little thing you brought here are going home in boxes. Capiche? Yes, sir. I hope they kill his ass by the end of this episode. Crimson wants you all to stay in separate rooms. Why? Moxie? It's just one night, Millie. It's okay. Max, are you okay? I'm fine. Please don't worry, sweetie. You know you can tell me anything, right? Yes. Everything's fine. Your partner's Max. It's just my dad. It's okay, really. It'll be over tomorrow. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Good night. What the fucking why? The junk says nice cop on the background. Like what I've done with the place? Ugh. Just get out of here. Come on, Mom. We used to have so much fun here, remember? I married Chaz, and even if I weren't, I would never. Never what? Let me take you to come town again. You are so gross. Just leave me alone. I know what you want most, Moxie Popsy. How about a sexually charged musical number? Hey. You always love those. <laughs> you wondering when I'm gonna crack you open like a walnut and the answer is soon <laughs> now I'm feeling that you're feeling and I'm feeling that you want to feel my feelings and feel the feel you feel me saxophone what? So let me get a <laughs> what is even going on Are you serious? Damn it. This usually works. Blitz? You gonna do it to Blitz? Hey there, good looking. Oh, I was wondering how long it would take for you to make a pass. Hmm. Does that mean you're down to clown? Ew. What? You think I would violate my friend's trust by sleeping with their ex, especially yes, yes, one who you fucked would. them over the way you did? I'll show you all the things they liked in the sack. Deal. Chill the fuck out! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, why do I why do I have to hear that? They wildin'. Wait, hold up, was that Millie with long hair? Okay, fucker, nobody who's that bad in bed can score two hotties that easily. I know you gotta be hiding something. You know it's one thing if Blitz is saying you bad in bed. That's all I gotta say. That. No one fucks with Eminem's marriage but me. Oh, oh. 
Sorry, babe. You aren't the only junk in my trunk. <laughs> Damn it, that is not a good one. Hey, hey, the man of the hour. You ready to get started? Wait, where's Blitz? I think I saw him head outside. He said something about needing some fresh air or something. Why don't you grab him so we can get moving? Be right back, baby. What you looking so glum for, kid? It's your Max, wedding day. Clock your father Stay in the jaw. Life. I'm not doing it. What was that? I couldn't make it out over the sound of you being a whiny bitch. I said I'm not doing it, sir. I've spent my whole life being afraid of you, but I'm not giving up the only good thing I've ever had just so you can keep your fragile little sense of control over everything. Millie is a good woman. A better woman than I deserve. And there's nothing that scares me more than hurting her. Not even you. I'm leaving, Dad. And if you or Herpes the Clown over here, hey. try to stop me. You'll learn firsthand just how good I've gotten at my job. <laughs> Now take care of the others. I mean, he stood up. Oh, Millie, you found me. Who's your friend? Friend? Damn! Oh. There's everyone here. Yeah, 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 don't worry about it. Let's get this thing rolling, eh? Aww. You told me all the chairs would be filled. Hey, yo. Satisfied? Oh, fuck yes. What is going on? That seductive dick hole is trying to marry Moxie, and he's not even rich. Moxie! Do you, Cheswick Herman? Moxie, clock your dad. Name to be your lawfully wedded husband. Oh, yeah. And do you, Moxie, whatever, take Cheswick Thurman to be your lawfully wedded? Uh... Look at that. He's just so fucking happy to be here. Everything's locked down. How are we going to get in? Buckle up, Millie. We're doing a shrimp. <laughs> that man said I'm out. <laughs> Probably no. Chaz isn't even rich, okay? Check his car. He just played you like a fucking rube. <laughs> Later, losers. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm not satisfied until that dude gets a damn bullet in the head. Come on now. Millie, thank you for saving me. You're amazing. Next time, just tell me if your dad is a psychopath. I can handle it. Well, I'm glad everything ended up okay. 
Good to know we both have daddy issues, Mox. Also, I got to plow your ex-boyfriend. Isn't that great? Now we all fuck the same guy. Crazy. Bro, Moxie's dad needs to get clocked, bro. Not only that, but like, don't get me wrong. I know the whole thing with Moxie and Millie is that like, when it comes to fighting, Millie is your go-to. You're not going to go to Moxie for fighting. And that's fine. But in this specific situation, I needed Moxie to hit him with like the meanest haymaker, bro. I needed Moxie to hit him with something crazy. Cause that is that is some crazy level of disrespect. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm glad Moxie stood up. Dad was a punk ass though, as always. But uh no, nah, I needed I needed uh especially after the backstory when it comes like the dad off the mom, nah like No, the dad made Moxie off the mom or something like that. Like, nah, I needed you to hit him with some crazy stuff maybe moxie doesn't know maybe that's what it is maybe moxie doesn't know and maybe like later on vivzy pop will do an episode where moxie like finds out and then moxie goes and does something crazy because i needed moxie's dad to get it right then and there but that fight with millie that joke was why i think that was the wildest fight i've seen uh from vivzy pop that was ridiculous what she did to that man with the with the <laughs> nah, but this this is a great one by Vizzy Papa as always. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Definitely make sure to go check out Vivzy Pop if you for some reason somehow watched this video before subscribing to them. I don't know what's wrong with you. Your algorithm is messed up. But I'm gonna see you guys next time, and I'm out.